Recently, I was wanting to replace the old light outside my back door with one of those PIR sensors with the double spot connected to it. So I went along the aisles of the local hardware store to find something, and sure enough, there was a smart one. This was running off the Arlex system, which is a tour-based platform, and I thought this would be a really great way of testing out the new Tuya integration with a different type of device. So the device looked exactly the same as a normal unit, but was claiming to have smart connectivity built into the system. So I thought I'd give it a try. As you can see, you can either use the Grid Connect app or you can actually use the Tuya app, which is the one that I'm going to use. Um, it's a, got two 10 watt LED globes that are included in the system. IP44 rated, which I think gives you some basic um, rain protection. Mine is under the eaves, so it's not going to get wet anyway. So the device connected up to the Smart Life app really easily. And as you can see in my Tuya app over here, we have the device all registered up and running. So we have a power on and off switch over there. And then we have a couple of modes. We have the off mode, the auto mode, and the on mode. So if I select that into auto mode, it should then detect motion and turn on and off. Now you have a couple of adjustments here. You can adjust the sensitivity. You can adjust the duration of how long it stays on or stays on. And then you can adjust the light level. So this is obviously during what level of daylight, how bright does it need before it's going to turn, not turn on during the day, for example. So once I started testing this out, I realized that this device was really not reliable at all. First of all, it would come on at times when there was absolutely no movement outside the house at all, even though I adjusted the sensitivity level. And second of all, sometimes it would not even come on when I was walking around outside. So in general, as a security light, it was performing way worse than your standard non-smart device. So let's have a look at how I got on with connecting this to Home Assistant. So I hooked it up to Home Assistant using the new Tuya integration. Unfortunately, this seems to be an unsupported device for some reason. It doesn't even allow for an entity to turn the light on and off at all. So overall, I would certainly not recommend purchasing this device. I read up on some of the Google reviews on this as well, and most people seem to be having problems with this device. Second thing I've learned is that the Tuya integration into Home Assistant seems to be reasonably limited, and it's not offering all types of devices as yet. So let's hope that's going to improve in the future. Anyway, that's all for now. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.